fail because the product is bad. Actually, we have found that most innovations fail because there is no market acceptance for it. And if your innovation is dependent on actually, you know, huge market acceptance and deep rooted behavior change, then you have a very daunting task ahead of you. And I want you to meet the next innovator who has taken the very big task of making Indians healthier. Just look at that data. India needs to lose weight. So I'd like you to meet now uh, Vishal Gondal of Goki. And in conversation with him, Vineet Rai, founder and founder of Avishkar and IntelliCap. Take it away, Vineet. Well, we need to really rush with this session. I will rush you. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, with me is actually a man who became an entrepreneur when he was 17 year old. Uh, so I've known of him. I'm meeting him for the first time uh, for a very, very long time. One of his first investors is actually a mentor to me as well. Uh, Vishal, I have very specific questions to you. One, actually, we are in a conference which is talking about saving lives. Uh, in some sense, probably what you are doing as well is probably preventive rather than curative. So the question that I have for you is, A, from gaming, how do you move into this, though it's connected to games in some sense, and uh, what was the inspiration, and how do you see the challenge of behavior change irrespective? Well, so, so it was interesting that the last two speakers talked about viruses and, uh, you know, vaccines. but. Friends over here, the bigger challenge we are going to face is very soon none of these vaccines are going to work because viruses are getting drug resistant as we know. There is rampant uh, misuse of antibiotics, not only in India, but every major country. So the reality is that if you really have to face uh, all the stuff going around, what you really need is a lifestyle change. And I think that's what is globally accepted, whether it is, you know, uh, finally it is your immune system which has to work. And in my case, I came from a background in gaming where I'm sure everybody over here has played Candy Crush or Angry Birds. And we deploy techniques to make people spend their time doing nonsense like, you know, playing candies or, you know, firing pigs on the, in the air. And my goal was how can I use the same techniques to make people walk more, eat more green vegetables, drink more water and get better sleep. So the idea was that if this is what is really required, how can we do that? And once, of course, uh, once, my, when, once I sold my company, I think the next big thing really was how can I, what I call meta gaming, how can we take gaming as be core behavior to complex problems which all of us are talking about, but the answer really lies in simple motivation. The problem today with fitness, uh, you know, even social good or health is information is not the problem. Everything is available. You can read, you can go to Google, you can see any magazine, you can read Ayurveda, you can read anything. The answers are already there. The problem was motivation. The problem is how do we make you move and take action? And that's really what you know, my, my focus was. And I think the interesting part that I actually learned about what you are doing is you, while your job is to be preventive, your job is to actually uh, not really to save lives, not to make about a social change, but you somehow managed to bring about a significant uh, role of social change and contributing to the uh, lower economic strata in some way and form in the product that you're selling. How did you manage to do so, that? So let me first quickly give the audience a glimpse of what we really do. So at Goki, what we believe is that people need to move towards changing their lifestyle. And the first step to change the lifestyle is to start measuring your lifestyle. Which is, what are you doing? How many steps are you taking? How much water you are drinking? This measurement is done by various apps you have free apps you can download on your phone, or we give you a free band, which is, you know, which is a wrist band, which measures all of this. While you do all of that, this data makes you aware that, okay, I'm not moving enough or I'm not having enough activity. But we went a step beyond. This data is connected to coaches who are working with us, and these coaches get the data on it online, and they are looking at your data, and they are advising you on a daily basis what to do. However, the biggest thing was behavior. The problem is nobody wants to be sick or talking to a doctor every day. It's the worst thing for people to do. So in our case, we did not want to give a feeling to our users that first of all, they are sick or they're getting treated for any disease. In our case, 
the users are gamers. So what are they? They are players. They are playing a game. And our, our health providers or health counselors are coaches. So you are part of a game where you're getting coached. The second thing was we didn't want to make it about weight loss or you know exercise. These are things that people don't want to do. They don't like, most people don't like all of this. However, we said let us get the motivation to do something else. So in our case, we said the motivation is let us together change the world. And how do you do that? It's very simple. Every time you take 390 steps, we give you one karma point. Simple, in a game you get a point. However, these karma points are very special. What happens is you can donate these points to charities. And these charities, by the way, are backed by Oxfam, who's our partner, global partner. And Oxfam partnered with us and said, okay, all the Goki users who are making lifestyle changes are now gonna be selecting a, a list of charities which Oxfam, Oxfam supports. And as people make the donation, they feel very, very good. And there is scientific evidence around, you know, the donors high and all of that. So the whole idea of Goki is, how do you change the world? And to do that, you have to change your lifestyle. It's as simple. I think what's, what's inspiring here is, I actually thought I'm going to talk to a person who has nothing to do with the conference. And I'll be spending a significant amount of time trying to make a connect between gaming and how to change the world. But then as I discussed and figured out more about Vishal, not only is an entrepreneur who started very early, in a very early age he has figured out how to connect the twain, which are completely unconnected in some sense. Uh, are there questions that you would like to actually ask uh, Vishal? Are there any tweets that we have? Yes, we have one. Can you get the mic back there, please? Hi Vishal, uh, this is Sumit here. So, uh, like, have you actually articulated behavior change in people, or have you utilized the behavior, like how I behave, into a positive reinforcement as to, okay, you are behaving like this, I'm going to use your behavior, in your behave, uh, in your favor, or is it? So, so just to give you a sense, we launched about five months back in India, and we now have 10,000 users already working with us on Goki. Out of these users, a majority of them have been able to make significant lifestyle changes, right from quitting smoking, to reducing their stress levels, to diabetes, to increase in sleep, to in so we have, we have data of everything. But what really matters is not that. If you talk to any of your users, they will say, I have now supported this charity, and I am supporting, for example, we support a school which is funded by Oxfam. So users are not saying, hey, I have done this. Everybody's saying, I was able to support this school. In November, we took almost uh, 800 people to walk 100 kilometers. In uh, This was again an Oxfam funded event and we raised about a crore in charity. So the users who were all excited, not about, so they all worked and they all walked 100 kilometers in 48 hours. This is an event called the Oxfam Trail Walker. But the excitement was not the, you know, whatever they did, the excitement was how they impacted the world. So that's really the measure of success for us. Now the interesting thing that Vishal did is he thought he, our speakers, we have around 250 speakers who are going to be speaking over the next two days. He wanted to make them healthy and also make them start distributing karma points. So almost all of us are actually getting a band to keep counting how much difference we are making and how healthy we are. So if there are no more questions, then I think Vishal and we'll, I'll step down and we'll not be in the way for you. I think there's a question okay. there. There was a question in the back. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Michelle, really uh, impressive, great stuff. I just wanted to ask a question. The third party donors, who, who are they? How are they selected? What's their motivations? Right now we work with Oxfam, uh, who's our donor partner, and they are donating the charities. So they actually put so, in the So the Oxfam point. donates. However, our users also contribute money. So they can do two things, either what we call sweat equity, where they are just sweating it out and giving it. Uh, however, they can also donate cash. So it, it's both. And of course, we will be expanding our base of uh, our donor partners and charity partners in a very big way. So it's, it's really truly about behavior change. And as I said, the behavior we are trying to inculcate is let us start thinking about others. And as part of this journey, you help yourself. And I think uh, just to add to that one point, I think 
what we are really seeing is that social giving and social cause are now going to become mainstream part of business. So I, we don't call ourselves a social enterprise. You know, we are, a, we are literally a games company which is working with users to help them fit. However, what we have seen is that the biggest motivator actually, the intrinsic motivation is what works the most. And the best motivation is when you can make people help others. Inherently, everybody wants to help others. If you ask anyone in this room or anyone outside the road, they want to help others. We just want to make it easy. Today, the problem is that ordering a pizza is faster than getting an ambulance to your house. And you can you know, press a button and get Ola or uh, Uber. We are saying, how can you enable giving charity or helping others at the same, at the same ease? And that's really what we are trying to do with bridging a bridge between technology, behavior change, gaming, and, and lifestyle. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we started with trying to tame a dragon. And right now, we are trying to tame our inner dragon using the Goki tube. Uh, uh, I think I have a one, I have the last question actually. So, Vishal, I, you came from a place where you, of course, you explained how you thought about it and why you did it. But uh, behavioral change, was that a problem that you actually saw initially? Or is that a problem you discovered on the way? Because uh, sometimes we don't see that as a problem because we are obsessed with our own idea. And being a so gamer, I'm sure you must be obsessed with the so idea. So that it's, it's interesting that so I spent a lot of time while working on Goki with scientists in Stanford. But at the same time, I also spent a lot of time with yogis and you know, other people who were talking about lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line here was that today, if I tell you from tomorrow, everybody is only supposed to eat boiled vegetables and you know, only drink boiled water, nobody is going to do that. It's a temporary thing. However, if I'm able to change your behavior and say, you know what, the sugar in your tea, let's just eliminate sugar or let's reduce sugar or let's change to honey. If you just change that one behavior, that is going to have a lot higher impact than you going to for a hundred diets. So the idea is take a simple behavior of whether you are drinking tea or whether you are drinking water and kind of work around that. That's, that's as simple as that. Can we have a big round of applause for Vishal?